Good afternoon, Wrestling Inc. Get up, get going. Happy Friday before WrestleMania 38. It is me, your managing editor of WrestlingInc.com, Nick Hausman, joined here for this very special WrestleMania 38 Sunday night two preview and prediction special. It's our very good friend, TK Trinidad. TK, welcome back to the Wrestling Inc. Daily. Happy WrestleMania week. Oh, yeah. Ready? Yeah, it is it is a, it is a busy week here. Obviously, WrestleMania this weekend, tons of shows. Uh I am mm-hmm. currently in Dallas as this is airing on uh the Wrestling Inc. YouTube channel. This is a pre-tape, spoiler alert. Uh but if you're listening to us in audio form after we finish uh previewing and predicting uh uh the Sunday show, you're going to hear some kind of interview that I did at either the WWE Media Junket or the Match Made in Heaven WrestleMania Weekend Recommitment Ceremony where two couples are having their vows renewed surrounded by WWE superstars. Doesn't that sound romantic, TK? Yes. (laughs) I was just getting the visual and I'm like, hey, different strokes for different folks. (laughs) I agree, right? Love is love. If you guys are wrestling fans, do it the right way. I'm very excited about this. I, I, you know what? Since it's already happened, I'm going to say it was beautiful. It was, it was a very touching ceremony. So you're going to get some kind of audio after the preview prediction. I can't tell you who it is. I think I'm going to get access to Kevin Owens. Maybe we'll get Kevin Owens here later. Who knows? Uh, after whatever audio it is that I play, you will get uh, our retro. WrestleMania look back. We're going to take a couple minutes to look back at the number one WrestleMania match based off of the Wrestling Inc. staff suggestions. And lastly, uh, we will dive in the mailbag and we will wrap the show looking at what match you all are most looking forward to from WrestleMania 38 Sunday night two. All right. With that, let's get to some news you can use. News will leave a bruise. Today's news is the preview and prediction special. We're going to start in reverse order. Now, this is the order of uh, matches from Wikipedia, which is always very reliable. Oh, Uh, I did not use Wikipedia when I put the polls together and did not include Seth versus TBA for night one in our poll. And I'm getting an obscene number of write ins. So these are (laughs) double accurate. I'm sure these are the most recent lineups. We're going to go from what Wikipedia has listed from the bottom to the top of the card. So we'll start here with the fatal four-way tag team match for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. The 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 reigny champions, Queen Zelina and Carmella, taking on Sasha Banks and Naomi, Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, and Natalia and Shayna Baszler. They tried to put a little heat on this on Monday Night Raw, getting all the women out there, definitely drawing the lines of who's heels and faces in this bout. Uh, how do you feel about this match? What, what do you think is going to go down here? Um, I definitely obviously want Sasha and Naomi to win. Um, oh, yeah. I think the last time we talked about this is just taking away from what could have been like a really great match. All ladies are great. I feel like, you know, they threw in all the ladies together. Um, so, you know, kudos, they have their WrestleMania moment, but I feel like they took away from the match and what could have been. And um, just kind of looking over the card, it's just kind of like, for people who are not so invested, like when you see Sasha, Sasha's a draw, right? right. So then, you know, people might've actually sat to see it, but now they see all these women and they're like, I'm going to the bathroom. Like, I feel like the, the this is going to be one of those scenarios where people are not going to take it seriously because, yeah. you know, you, you, you kind of just tossed in a whole bunch of, of people. It's like, you know, throwing the freshmen and the JVs out there, you know, for football or basketball. It's like, all right, well, you know, we know what time it is. So let's just, you know, get the popcorn, move the car, all that stuff. So it's unfortunate, um, especially being a women's wrestling advocate. Um, but, you know, at least the the caveat is because WrestleMania time is just such a, not everybody can say they have that. They had that moment and it's documented. So, you know, all these women have this moment, but I don't think it's, you know, it's going to be an amazing one, unfortunately. Well, you know, oftentimes when the bar gets set low in WWE, uh, it becomes way easier to to go over the bar. I think all the women involved in this match are great. I hope they get to make the best of this situation. You know, one thing I'm noticing here as I'm looking at the card, 
Uh, only seven matches here for the first night. That's it's not like years past where you had like 16 matches you had to get through. And there were some ones that just got burned for time right. because only seven matches. There's really no reason you can't give these women some time. I mean, it's not like Lashley Omas is going to go right. Broadway or anything like that. <laughs> no, I, no I mean, it will be a great match. It's just. Yeah. Yeah. It's and, like, you know, yeah. And I, I think Sasha and Naomi are a good pick, right? They're obviously the most over women in the match. It'd be a great moment. Um, I do think there's I, if I if not them I would think Ripley Morgan would be behind them. They, Liv has had a a real a roller coaster year. Um, right. it came cl- came close to kind of getting you know a moment and it never really manifested. Uh, rewarding her and Rhea with the titles here in a kind of unexpected fashion. I could see that being a big moment for for wrestling fans, WWE fans. I mean that's I I I think that's great. Um, I. I feel like just Sasha, I mean, and like for Phil Supsima and other things, I absolutely love Naomi. Um, But Sasha alone will draw interest to the tag team belts. Like, I I feel like when you think of the tag teams for the women's division, it's like, it's, it's just been okay. But when you think of, I personally, when I think of, I could name three or four different men's tag team matches and tag teams that just really kind of, set the bar if you guys you know know what i'm talking about so it's just kind of one of those things where it's just like the the women's tag team division is just not there because one they throw women together randomly and it doesn't make sense like how many partners has naomi had um real like rhea ripley she, like she's and and it's no shade to tag teams but like rhea ripley should be dominating by herself instead of throwing her in another like it's you know Carmel it, like it's just it's just like wait wait what are we doing and if you are gonna do a tag team then make it a legit tag team and make it like that we're believable and have it together like there should be like a tag team contract you guys are gonna be together for like you know six to six months to a year to actually be versus oh uh, you know this worked for three months or this doesn't work we're just gonna move on like you can't really sink your feet your your teeth into it. I agree with that. And, you know, the fact that you don't get things like uh, units dressing the same anymore and, like, you know, you used to get tat, you know, you became a team, you got different music for a while. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it's right now it's, you know, Sasha's entrance with Naomi. Right? <laughs> like, and uh, I totally get that. I will say this. Natalia and Shayna Baszler, I do like as a pair. I think the Queen of Spades, Queen of Hearts thing is is when they said that, I was like, okay. Um, they're both grapplers, you know, very tough women. I hope that, you know, if you're going to give a tandem some time and Natalia really has just been a revolving door of tag team partners. Um, I I do like these two together. I think that Shane and Natalia are not a bad combo. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind, but I feel like, you know, Shayna of NXT is almost a shell of herself as Shayna, you know, on the main roster. It's kind of like what? What 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 happened? And you know, Ronda's back, but it, I I just they, again I think we talked about this last week, and you know I'm sure we've been wrestling fans have been talking about this for years. It's just like they just WWE drops the ball on things that we think or we see is just so obvious, like it's right there. Can you not? Okay, we're gonna have to play it on the video game. All right, fine. You're not listening to us. Um, so yeah, like Natalia, Natalia is the same. They kind of, it almost makes sense that they're throwing Natalia um in tag team matches and Naomi in tag team matches, that they should just put them together and let them be a legit tag because technically they could have been a legit tag me, tag team for well, what almost two years. Yeah, like that. I, I could have bought into that because they were on Total Divas to get like, you know, they have history. Um, but you know, it's, it's just, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. So it's like, okay, well, we're, you know, those two, those two tag teams, no, let's throw in two more. Well, uh, we'll see what happens. I, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with what you get in this match. I think, I think it'll be a better match than people expect. And I do think that you're going to see one of the top baby face teams here, Ripley Morgan or Banks, Naomi beat the dastardly Zelina and Carmella and it'll be a good moment. So we'll see. I mean, look, you're going to, this is night two. You're going to have both the women's title matches the night before. You're Mm -hmm. not going to want to let the woman just be thrown under the bus here on night two after seeing these incredible women's matches, knock on wood, from Saturday. Um, So we'll see. Um, But that's our only women's match here for night two of WrestleMania. The rest are all men's matches. And, man, what a grab bag 
of matches we have here for the rest of the card. Uh, we'll start with anything goes between Johnny Knoxville and Sami Zayn, a match I am personally very, very much looking forward to. It's going to be a train wreck. It's going to be all over the place. It's going to have Steve-O and the whole gang doing crazy mm -hmm. things. What's not to love, right? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I hope that it's going to be all over. Like, it, it, if it's not already pre-recorded or part pre-recorded, I hope it's going to be all over the stadium. I hope they're going to be using all sorts of craziness because I couldn't even watch. Jackass was so much for me. Like, I couldn't even watch it. Like, there was just there was a lot going on. Like, there's buttholes and there's just dicks. a lot going on. A lot of dicks. A lot of dicks. Yes. Yes. A lot so, of dicks. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think we're going to see that. But um, we probably see some craziness, and you know that's what they're known for. I mean, I hope we don't see that, but that's what they're known for. And <laughs> well, and the, and the new the new movie is great. Um, and yeah. I did not grow up a huge Jackass fan or anything, but I've come to appreciate Jackass. It's a stupid thing. I'm an idiot, whatever. Um, but like the new movie has so many animal related pranks, and they got some real heat for Peta about like how often they are willing to piss off an animal to injure themselves. So. Uh, I don't know that we'll see a, 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 a bee's nest or a bull or anything like Somebody that. I was hoping for a beer, uh, a bear. So a you know. See, that's the thing. Bear? Oh, that bear one's scary. Imagine being, anyway, I don't get into it. No bears. I'm, I'm going to guess no animals. We'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, we, we don't know. That's, that's the good part. It's like because they're just so off the wall and um, because they could do that stupid stuff, but also, you know, stay alive all these, all this time. Um, you know, we don't we don't know what to expect, which makes it more exciting. See, and the thing is, up until now, I've really thought Johnny Knoxville is just going to win this thing. But I've I've come to think that Sami Zayn will pull out the victory here. Uh, Johnny Knoxville seems to be like an actual wrestling fan, which is kind of surprising to me. I thought he was just kind of bouncing into the world. But I was reading an interview with him earlier and he was talking about how he loves Abdullah the Butcher and like, mm. you know, really just like some deep cuts and stuff. And so I think that he, uh, not, I mean, he's not bad bunny, right? No offense, but like, I think different, that he, thing. I think he can come in and take the L and like, understand it. Right. Like he's yeah. like, this isn't for me to come in and win and be Johnny Knoxville. He's like, no, I'm coming in here. This guy's been great to me. I've loved working with Sami Zayn. Look at all the fun we've had. And mm -hmm. now he's going to beat me and it's going to be a great moment for him. And I really hope that is what happens. I hope Sammy does get the victory here over Johnny. Um, I could see either way. I mean, I think said <laughs> this this version of Samuel last, I don't know, I don't know. The pandemic has kind of thrown off my time, maybe two years, um, two and a half years. I don't know, since two years, five years, who knows? Um, but this version of him is it, it's, it's definitely different. And um, I feel like he it could go either way for him and it won't affect him um at all. Um yeah. and I, I think too the fact that you know John Knoxville's mainstream media and people are gonna watch because they might not watch they they might have just started watching this because John Knoxville's on, that's that might actually not necessarily put him over, but put the whole brand over. Because now Maybe. you're gonna get a whole new new cast of people who weren't gonna watch anyway. I, I agree that there that there's no way Sami Zayn like really loses here. I just think that I think that I think that look, Sami's had a banger year. Deserves a big moment. I think Johnny will do the job. I, I That's my safe prediction. We'll see. Yeah, either way. Another celebrity match. I guess is it, though, because we see McAfee every week. But he is, like, he's a special attraction. Pat McAfee, Austin Theory. Uh, this match is, like, was supposed to be the big Vince McMahon angle. But now that's more like the Cody, Seth Rollins thing. So now this is just, like, a match, which will probably be awesome. And um, if I had to pick a winner, I'd guess that Austin Theory is going to get the rub here. I don't know why you'd have the commentator beat the wrestler. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, unless he's trying to, you know, make his way into the ring full time. Um, yeah, I definitely agree. <laughs> I feel like you know, like you, you, you never know these days. Like if, if you're you're so close to the ring, like why not want to be in a ring if you're capable of doing it? Um, but I think Austin Theory definitely takes the win. Um, I, I feel like they've been trying to push him, like put him over, um, and the crowd is just like. Mm. If he's on, he's on. If he's not, he's not. So I, I feel like he, he, the win should go should go to him for sure. How about Austin Theory just beating Intercontinental Champion Ricochet on Monday Night Raw? And they're trying to hype up Ricochet for a triple threat match against Los Lotharios. Like, I felt bad for Ricochet on Monday night. I mean, they've done Ricochet 
I mean, it's like you kind of give you kind of give something to him. I mean, he's not you know all the way not doing anything, but it's just kind of like since Ricochet's been on the main roster, it's just kind of like, oh yeah, you're here still. Okay, we'll give this to you, but then I'll but we're just gonna let off the theory beach. Like it doesn't. It, it, it's almost redheaded stepchild type scenario. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't think Pat McAfee wants to wrestle regularly. I think he's worth too much money now. Like, I don't think that people that are worth that much get to wrestle all the time, right? And that rock syndrome, you know? So you got too many people. Like, McAfee's got a whole, tr- like, whole little, like, bubble of people he's responsible for. Yeah, but if he gets injured, he, he can still talk. I guess. Unless his jaw gets broke, right? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> so, but, you know, he can uh, type it. We're in new. We're in new era. Anything's possible. I, I mean, like, I guess it's like I'm looking at the. I mean, if if they put Theory over so big that he beat the IC champion on Raw, does he need to win at Mania? Probably not. Maybe McAfee does get to win here. Maybe it's Zayn that's the surprise, and McAfee beats Austin Theory for whatever reason. I'm not really sure why that would happen. Yeah, I don't. I don't see that. I I see McAfee doing what McAfee does. He, he's a huge wrestling fan. I think that we appreciate the fact that he is a huge wrestling fan, and he makes it like cool. Um, he'll probably do some cool stuff, you know, we'll be surprised. Um, and it'll be like, oh, he survived. Like, I mean, I, I think he'll, he'll do, he'll, I mean, bring up Bad Bunny. Like, I don't think anybody expected Bad Bunny to, you know, wrestle, what, 60% of the match. I think, you know, it's, it's always nice to see somebody actually do the work versus them just show up and like, you know, do the one, two moves, and, you know, then somebody else wrestles the rest of the time like who's the actual wrestler so i think pat uh, matthew will like surprise us do some stuff that we didn't expect because he's been putting in the work um but yeah i don't see him winning but it's nice to see that you know what i'm saying it's like not not every wrestling fan can jump off the top rope <laughs> not he's, he's, could, he's, so. a freak, he's a freak athlete that pat McAfee really is like the way he mm-hmm. moved around like a gazelle in that nxt ring like he was he was uh, he was great so i'm looking forward to it and i'm looking forward to this triple threat Raw tag title match as well. RK Bro Street Profits Alpha Academy. These teams have just had a really fun chemistry together. Mm-hmm. And we haven't seen, I mean, like, I'm at the point now where I'm done with it. Like, these teams should have a banger at WrestleMania and then uh-huh. all go separate ways. Because it's been a lot of these three teams together recently. But, you know, we're hitting this at a point where I'm still interested and I still really like all these guys. I like what they've been right. doing late. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, I mean, talk about like tag teams, RK Bro. Like, could if you, if you, if somebody told you about this five years ago, would you even like, no? Like, it seems like Randy's having so much fun. Like, it's just, it, it's, I mean, Street Profits came from NXT, and I think they're probably, maybe them and Bianca are, well, Rhea Ripley as well. Like, they kind of kept, there's certain teams that kind of, they were who they were in NXT, and now they're on the main roster, and it makes sense. Um, so street profits are, is doing well. They're going to have their ups and ga- downs. They're going to have a long career. So, you know, that's fine. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be great, but I feel like, um, they're also going to have that, um, Usos and new day thing where they're going to drift off and then come back together and drift. Off. So they're going to have a lot of great, this is going to be, you know, maybe not RK bro. Cause I don't necessarily see that lasting for a long time, but right. you know, you're going to see those teams, you know they're gonna be that rendi- uh, that uh, rendition of it. I I you know it's not a stretch to think Bianca wins Saturday night, right? She beats Becky Lynch, mm-hmm. and then Street Profits pick up the win here, and we get the run back of last year. Only now it's Bianca by kind of Montez's side celebrating his WrestleMania moment. I think that'd be you know, and again, it's all about creating big heartfelt moments that make you cry, and that right. would be an emotional moment. I think for everybody to see something like that happen. It would. Um, I, I would love to see that. But I, I, I think the big emotional ruins is not, you know how you No, you're a guy, so you wouldn't know. But I don't like, know. There's, yeah. <laughs> you know, you have like you as a woman, you want guys to like, you know, do the emotional stuff. But some guys are like emotionless. And I, that's why I feel like WWE is like we're, we don't really care about the emotion. This is this is the business. So the emotion, when it happens, it's like unplanned. <laughs> it's like what happened last year. I don't think, you know, there was no. You know that was just a husband loving his wife. So you know, yes, it'd be great, but I don't, I don't see anybody back there like Hallmark. Like, yes, this is this is what's gonna happen, and it's gonna cue cue the water, waterworks. Even though I don't know, know I, I, I don't know. And I do say, I'll say this lastly on this triple threat match. Um, I agree. I don't think RK Bro is much longer for this world. 
Um, I definitely don't think they keep the titles here. I think they'll lose them. And then, I mean, Monday night, the Raw after Mania, you know, where everybody's nutty, crazy edge of their seats. Like, that mm-hmm. feels like the time for, you know, maybe Riddle to hit the RKO out of nowhere on Randy and, and, and kickstart this thing coming out of wrestling. <sighs> I know, but it's like, you know, you don't want to see it. Like, they're, they're just so... I do. What, what is that, the odd couple? <laughs> I want to see The odd that. couple or something. What is, what is, like, shows, like, back like you, that you see in those old people channels? Um, I, I feel like they're just total opposites that it, it makes it makes sense. And then, you know, Randy's going to go back to being Randy. And I, I kind of enjoyed seeing um, a different version of him trying not to laugh. Like, that's... You know that's that's always great. So I know you do, but I, I, I'm I ready for it. Six I wanna, months. I'll take it. Come on, six Randy Orton has been far too happy for so long. Go light somebody on fire. <laughs> okay. <Come on>. Um, <laughs> all right. Lastly, here, uh, all singles matches from here on out. Uh, first, Edge versus AJ Styles. It's been a pretty. It's been a dark but pretty traditional build. Edge doing a lot mm-hmm. of the heavy lifting here. I think. What are your expectations for this one? Ooh, um, I'm kind of torn with this one. Uh, I want to say AJ Styles. Yeah, I feel like, like I, yeah, I feel like Edge is, I mean, but it could go either way. You know, it, yeah. neither, neither of these guys needs a win or a loss. And, you know, we're going to talk about Undertaker Shawn Michaels here in a little bit. And I think the reason that match worked so well um, was you had two guys that were, at a point, physically, mentally, could not be sharper, right? Maybe, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know about phys- I mean, you, you go back to when you're 26, right? Maybe you're physically sharper, but like mentally there, physically very much still there. And right. they're great storytellers, and neither of those guys would have been hurt by a loss there, right? I right. mean, <laughs> even Undertaker with his streak, I think people would have been like whatever at the time. That's the right. same kind of, it's not the exact same, but it's a similar energy here where you got two guys that are just so in the zone right now Mm -hmm. of what it is to be them in pro wrestling. Neither guy could be hurt. I mean, every false finish is going to feel like a shotgun blast, I feel like, to wrestling fans, especially 100,000 in that stadium that night. It's going to be a banger. I know that, that for sure. Yeah, the, the I mean, yeah, we can guarantee the match is going to be amazing. And that's the the good thing about this match that you're, you know, um, you'll be excited because you don't know who's going to win. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a great match and it's going to be one of those things where, um, what I do don't hope or what I I'm hoping doesn't happen is that it goes so long that you're like, okay, can we, can we wrap this up? Cause sometimes the matches is like, you hit that point where it's like, okay. And then you like, you know, another 10 minutes. So I was like, no, we could have, we could have wrapped this up, you know, 10 minutes, 22, 23 minutes would have been great. Um, so I'm hoping it's not gonna hit that point where you're just like, I'm tired now. Um, I, I think I'm... I think I think they'll keep us, right? You know, I mean, because again, like let's look at so after this we have or you know, we don't know if it'll happen in this order, but you also got Lashley Omas, which is not gonna take mm-hmm. a huge amount of time here, right? Uh no. I you know, um, and it's gonna be a clubberin type bout. Lesnar uh reigns, which we can get to in just a second, it's gonna be a clubberin type bout. These guys are gonna go tell a story, right? And I hate to go back and right. keep going that undertaker Shawn michaels dynamic because that match was not a short match that was a very long match right and what made it great was building to those like oh my god how are you still coming up with things how are we still seeing Mm -hmm. and doing things i've never seen i think they'll do it now agreed there is a thing where you stretch the rubber band too far and it's gonna snap but i'm really not worried about these guys these guys like again if you could pick two wrestlers just be great wrestlers and wrestle great wrestling it's like these guys no no doubt about it yeah. Yeah, I'll give you I'll give you that. So Bobby Lashley Omas started uh on Monday Night Raw s- six days before it's gonna go down on pay-per-view. Um I I I don't hate it. I, I mean, especially if you're just looking to get Bobby Lashley heated up, you know, to look strong coming out of Mania as a contender for the title, which is what I'm guessing they're doing here. Um, but man, like I've been in a room with Lashley before, uh mm-hmm. shaking his hand. He is one of the largest men I've ever shared space with. I felt like tiny, like mm-hmm. tiny next to Lashley. But then you put him next to Omas. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, just, it's like that. How is tall is Omas? Is he like seven, two or something he's, like that? He's well over seven feet. Let's see here. Omas. I mean, it was 
jarring to me. Uh, he is seven foot three inches tall. Um, it was just jarring to me watching Bobby Lashley full on bounce off those ropes and just throw himself at that man. Oh my God. Terrifying. This will be fun. I think it'll be fun. That's my only prediction for this. And Lashley's six, three, according yeah. to Google. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Lashley. But he seems taller than six, three too. Like, you know, like six, three is kind of like relative depending on, I guess your body type or something like that. But yeah, that's, yeah, it, it'll be, it'll be a great match. But I think like you said before, it's not going to be too long. Um, yeah. And, you know, definitely think Lashley's going to, you know, win and take that one. All right. Well, lastly here, uh, the biggest match in WrestleMania history, uh, Brock Lesnar, WWE champion, taking on universal champion Roman Reigns, who will have Paul Heyman in his corner. Um, I've gone back and forth a million times on this. It would seem that they would want to stick with Reigns mm-hmm. to keep him hot or whatever. But, you know, fun cowboy Brock Lesnar has been such a great joy. And, oh, my you know, gosh. They just really want to put everybody... So they want to send everybody home happy. Brock Lesnar. Here's the thing is like, because Kevin Owens, Steve Austin's the night before, right? Mm-hmm. They're going to do that on, on Saturday. Like, I don't know, some kind of beer bash with like Lesnar and Austin and Undertaker, like all kind of soaking up that redneck Texas spirit there to kind of wrap WrestleMania. I don't know. I this one could go either way for me. I, I don't I don't know that I have a prediction here. I see a good case for either of these men to win. How do you how do you feel about this one? Same. Like I mean, I love this because wait, it's it, cause it's like um when I'm seeing Lesnar, it's just one of those things where it's just like, wait, but you live in Canada. Um so it was it, it was confusing at first, but he he he's doing it well. I love to see like he's having fun. I loved it, like the you know the the raw this or raw yeah this week it was just like he was having fun he was letting the fan he was interacting with the fans, um you know you know Paul Heyman's obviously not on his side anymore he's having fun and I I think it can it can go either way, um I feel like it might be better for Roman because he's you know the head of the table and he's you know. Roman Reigns and he's you know the face of the company kind of sort of um and I feel like they can extend this feud even longer even though you know it's it's been going on for a minute but I feel like they can extend this to towards summer Sam you know take a break but then they can pick it back up um so yeah I I feel like Roman's gonna take this one um but (laughs) you know the you know just just all the little vignettes that Brock has been doing is you know amazing and I definitely want to see more of that All right, TK. Well, I want to thank you for joining me at the top show, previewing and predicting WrestleMania 38. Uh, we got a little bit more to go here. And by the way, thank you to whoever it is that I just talked to and that you just listened to. If you're listening to us in audio form, we're going to have more interviews all next week. And they should be up in video form as this is being released or right around this. So enjoy. Thank you very much to the team, Owen, Matthew, uh, Liam, and uh, let's see, Owen, Matthew, Liam, uh, oh, and other Matthew. Both Matthews do this. Matthew C and Matthew W. Um, thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Um, all right. Let's dive into the mailbag. Or no, before we dive into the mailbag, we're going to reveal the number one match as voted on by the wrestling Inc. staff or some of the staff. Uh, many of the staff members did not get the memo. So I don't really know how we came to this conclusion. But here we are. I love you, Matthew C. Again. <laughs> Number one match in WrestleMania history, according to our results. Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania 25. A damn fine match to choose if you're going to pick a number one match. Uh, This went down in Houston. It went over half an hour. Uh, It spawned a rematch just because of how good it was. Uh, It wasn't the main event, which is wild as I look back at the results. Triple H, Randy Orton was that year. But uh, but a great match. Definitely deserving of a high spot in the WrestleMania pantheon. Yes? Mm Mm-hmm. I know. I, I, I mean, anything, I think I said that last time, anything with Taker in it, um, like Taker and WrestleMania, um, you can't, you can't go wrong. Whether yeah. it's Taker of old or Taker of new um, or Taker of young and Taker of old, I think I meant to say, um, you, you can't, you can't go wrong. Mm-hmm. And of course, Shawn Michaels. I, I mean, it's just. Oh, and Shawn uh, Michaels. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's, you can't. Yeah. It's just, it's one of those things where, I mean, you say certain names and you're like, oh, okay. But then you say certain names like Taker. It's just like. There you go. And then the fact that it wasn't the, the main event. 
which is crazy. Yeah. All right. Well, now we're going to dive in the mailbag real quickly. Uh, WrestleMania 38 Sunday. What match are you most excited for? Over 200 votes here in the uh, last 20 minutes or so that I've had this up. Uh, Reigns Lesnar blowing it out of the water. 67%. McAfee Theory at 15.1. Zane Knoxville 10. And everything else got 7.8. I guess really not a surprise. I'm sure the poll tighter for the Saturday show than the Sunday. But it's, you know, it's all everything is just an appetizer to Lesnar Reigns, right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. yeah, which like it's. I, I mean, again, I'm I'm glad that everybody or a lot more people are getting WrestleMania moments, but they could have definitely did like a one nighter and trimmed down the fat a little bit. But you know, on the flip side, if I were a wrestler, I, I'll take it. So I could see both ways, but it's just like uh, some of these matches could have just been on SmackDown hey, or Raw. I but, will yeah. take two three-hour shows over one eight-hour show any day of the week. Man, I sat in that press box for whatever that last one was with the women's triple threat. I forget what number it was, but mm-hmm. holy, holy hell, that was oh un- ungodly late at night. Oh, my God. Completely took me out of it. All right. Anyway, um, I'll, be back. Flashbacks. I'll be back on Monday live in studio. Uh, I'll be joined by Michael Weissman. We're returning to normal shows on Monday. Thank you all for sticking with us here throughout this week as I've been out traveling. Uh, we have even more WrestleMania coverage to go all weekend long. So be sure to support WrestlingInc.com. If you want to support this show, support us on whatever podcast platform you like. Come back here tonight after SmackDown for the Wrestling Inc. Pod, the WrestleMania podcast. Uh, WrestleMania SmackDown podcast, whatever. Um, tonight after <laughs> SmackDown, and uh, and and that's it. Anything you want to put over here, TK, before we wrap up the show today? Who? Um, we we're doing just doing a lot of WrestleMania stuff, uh, women's wrestling talk. We have a team going out there, so be on the lookout for them. Um, but yeah, I, I there's a plan, but I don't know what the plan is. Just watch <laughs> women's WWTalkPod.com. Check out all that. <laughs> Check out the social media. Um, yeah, and I will try not to, you know, I feel like the Wizard of Oz just operating stuff, and then sometimes I miss stuff. But, you know, follow me on everything at TK Turner. There's a plan, people. We have a plan. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm at Nick underscore Houseman. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll talk to you on Monday. And remember, if you winked, you didn't miss it.